Hello everyone and welcome to Sunday. It's actually not Sunday. It's just Sunday's vlog. See what happened was I recorded Sunday's vlog and then a few days later the information became irrelevant. So I decided that I would give you a new vlog using what I've learned that I didn't know in Sunday's vlog. The Sunday vlog was about port forwarding. It was basically a vlog where I asked you guys questions because for the life of me I couldn't figure out how to port forward. Except I knew how to port forward. And you need to port forward to uh, get through to the outside world if you are behind a router. Because your router is acting like a firewall and you poke these little holes so you can run, let's say, a game server. I'm going to level with you. I was trying to run a Minecraft server. Don't get excited and don't ask me any questions. I will answer no questions about why I was trying to run a Minecraft server. We're not going to talk about that. Anyway, I couldn't figure out how to do it because I know how to port forward and I've done it uh, before and I did everything on my router but it wasn't working I still couldn't run the server or I could run the server but no one could connect I couldn't connect so I didn't exactly know what the problem was so I was asking you guys for help and I had just racked my brain for like the past two days Saturday and Friday trying to figure out how to set up this server after reading countless articles uh, it occurred to me that maybe it wasn't my fault that this wasn't working. Maybe it was the fault of my ISP. Here's the deal. I have got a modem from the ISP, as you need to access the internet, and this modem is a little different from modems I've had from ISPs in the past in that it functions as a router as well. So what happened was I was behind two routers. The router that they give me, and then my router, which I'm using as a wireless router. So even though I poked a little hole in my router, it ran into the brick wall that is their router. So that was the problem. The reason I'm talking about this now is maybe I can help some of you guys out. Maybe you've wanted to run a game server, maybe a Minecraft server in the past, and port forwarding is something that you grasped, but it didn't work. So you just thought that you were an idiot and you couldn't figure it out, like me. Well, your problem was probably uh, your modem slash router that you got from, a, from your ISP. What you need to do is put that into bridge mode. And I actually ran into an even bigger issue because I had the the IP address for their router modem and I entered it in and I didn't have the username and password, tried the default that I saw online and it didn't work. So I had to call them. I had to call my ISP and say, hey, will you put my router uh, modem into bridge mode? And the guy was confused. I guess he probably doesn't get too many people that call knowing what that is, but he did it and then everything worked immediately. So. If it's not working for you, put your modem slash router into bridge mode and then poke a hole through your router with uh, port forwarding. Then it'll probably work. In the past, I've used uh, Hamachi, and some of you might be using Hamachi because you can't figure out how to get port forwarding to work. Um, it's pretty simple. And in the event you don't know how to port forward, there's actually a really useful website on that. I think it's actually called portforward.com or .net or .org or something. And you can actually just click on what router you have and what game you're trying to run and it'll tell you exactly how to do it. So that part is easy but I really was racking my brain for two days straight trying to figure out what the crap was the problem and it wasn't even my fault. So I hope this has been helpful because uh, you might have been running into the same problem I was and I hope that this helps some of you. And that's it. So the vlog was originally me asking for help and now that I figured it out I'm hoping I can help you. It's going to be it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and let's meet back tomorrow, shall we?